really enjoying the wish videos that I've been posting on my channel and they have been doing well so why not do another one if it's a win-win situation for me for you whoever you are out there hopefully you're a faniel that means you're subscribed <laughs> Subscribe. I'm just gonna open this right now um, because I don't want to accidentally show my address. That would be bad. But if you read the title, you know what's in here. Oh, jeez, I didn't open it enough. I'm so good at this. Why are these so cute? I actually got these a while ago. I've kind of been um, putting off making this video, but we're not gonna talk about that. Recently, I like to just scroll on Wish until I find something that catches my eye in terms of something that the item claims to do for a cheap price, um, which I'm hinting at something that's to come on my channel, or if they're like very strikingly similar to a real brand or a real licensed product that's out there that does cost, um, you know, a pretty penny. And these shoes caught my eye because they have a Nike swoosh. We know they were going for the Nike swoosh look, but obviously they can't do that because it is, you know, trademarked. So they they added like a little line to like the tip of the Nike swoosh and now it's not a swoosh. I'm getting annoyed with myself saying swoosh so much, so I'm just gonna stop saying that. Oh my gosh, that line that they did to not make it Nike isn't even attached to the shoe. Um, first thing we're noticing that makes it very noticeable that this item is from Wish. I don't remember which size I got these in. I know I obviously aimed for my size, but um, if they don't work, I'm gonna actually be kind of bummed because these are pretty cute. I've never worn shoes like this and it's kind of like daring to me to even fathom the image of me wearing these, but I think it could be a look if we got the right clothing. Now, as with all my Wish videos, I'm going to get you guys the price of this. I also want to get you the price of a similar shoe from the real Nike brand because that's obviously what these are knocking off. So I got these in a US 9.5 or a European 43, which those numbers aren't even close, but I'm sure it makes sense to the Europeans watching this video. These were $19 and the shipping was another $10, so obviously in total I paid $29 if my math is correct. It did come in a few different color options. There is obviously the complete white, which is what I got. There's a complete brown. There appears to be a white with a red logo and then another color that looks exactly like the all white, but it maybe has a different style to it. So these are white sneakers, casual shoes. I noticed with titles of products on Wish, they always add like just a million keywords, so it's probably more searchable to somebody looking for an item so that they get more profit or sales off of that item. Um, so they always have crazy titles, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. Yeah, I got these in mid-September and it is now mid-November, so I've had these for a couple months. I'm not sure exactly which shoe this is trying to knock off, but I did look up Nike all-white shoes. The Nike Air Maxes are coming up for a possible sale price from Dick's Sporting Goods goods of $99.99 to $119.99, which is apparently 7 to 16% off. So these would roughly be, if you got the real thing, $130 to $140, according to the Dick's website. And that doesn't look like an exact replica of this shoe. And I probably sound really stupid, but I'm not a, what do they call them? Sneaker heads? That's not right. Wait. So let me give you a little comprehensive tour of the shoe. We'll start at the front, I guess. I guess that's how everybody sees it when you're walking towards them. So let's do that. So they have the, I guess that's the breathable part of it. There was a breathable keyword in the product title. So I guess that's what all those little holes are in the very front of the shoe. They come fully laced, which is pretty nice because I always get so confused when I try to lace shoes on my own. The tongue has the letters MKE and then the word internationalist which I guess is the title of this shoe. Please leave a comment down below letting me know which shoe you think these are knocking off. Obviously they are trying to do that to some specific type of shoe from Nike and I'd love to hear your insight on that. I know I probably sound really um, not knowledgeable about it. On each side you have the knockoff Nike logo. On the back you have the MKE letters again. And then on the bottom you have these circular designs. There's a border which seems to get thicker at the front and back of the shoe. And it seems to be, from the looks of it, a pretty good shoe. Um, I'm assuming if I were to wear these for like a week they'd get dirty pretty fast just based on the fact that I bought them off of Wish. But I would love to try these on so let's do that. I don't 
know if I got the right size. I think I'm about a 10 and a half, but they didn't have a wide variety of sizes. My foot seems to actually be going in. Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, they're definitely tight and I don't think that's just the laces, but I literally have one on right now So this is actually working out surprisingly. Oh my gosh. These are so tight. Okay I'm noticing with the left one I don't know if the stitching is like tighter around the toe area, but it's only on the left shoe There's like two very defined lines in the front that makes the left shoe look pretty ugly But the right one looks pretty cool. I don't know. I just like looking at them, I don't know if these are my style of shoe, especially because they're small. Whenever a shoe's like small, my foot is basically bursting at the seams to get out of the shoe. I like the look of them for what they are, but they're they're just, I don't think they're my style. Give me a second to walk around a little bit and I will rate the comfort of them because I'm obviously sitting right now. Okay, I've run into this problem with shoes before and my mom would always be like make sure you like them And you're actually gonna wear them because if not we're gonna come home and you're gonna be like I hate these shoes And then we're gonna have like wasted money basically the shoes feel small But when I walk around my heels are rubbing up and down in the back of the shoe And that's so weird whenever this happens to me because like I guess it makes sense like the middle of my foot is just Maybe it's fatter <laughs> than my heel and that's really annoying because like if I I actually were to have gone on Wish because obviously you can't try these on and I'm sure Wish has like an insane return policy if they even have one. I'd be pretty darn disappointed if I paid almost $30 for a pair of shoes because you can go to Target and try on shoes and buy them for $30 and they're also not knockoffs. Like they probably have, I think I've bought like champion brand shoes from Target for like $30. Granted they didn't last super long but these probably wouldn't last long either and people would definitely notice like especially if they're interested in shoes and they're like oh my gosh look at your brand new white Nikes like they look so good and then they're like those are not Nikes like what an awkward situation when you could literally just go to your nearest Target or Walmart or wherever and buy shoes for the same price and I had to wait like with any wish product you have to wait up to a month for the thing to actually arrive and it's always like such a huge range of time of when you might get the product it's always like november 10th to november 28th it's never like a few days and with companies like Amazon and obviously Target they have a lot more focus on shipping and customer satisfaction to where they will like with Amazon Prime they guarantee next day or two day delivery on a lot of products and I know I'm kind of looking at it overall but you really do kind of have to do that as a customer and if I'm looking at just the product it's really not that great <laughs> because you shouldn't be buying knockoff shoes anyways because that hurts Nike and and I'm sure this company, if I can even call it that, really cut corners in terms of making their product and Nike, you know, they've built their brand over the years or so, I think. I'm not an expert on Nike, but you know, they're this huge company and to have this, whatever it is, go and rip off the product and go to sell it on Wish is uh, not cool. I also look really weird in the whole outfit I've got going on right now because I have the Nike Airs and then I have gym shorts on because I was lazy and didn't want to put on like actual pants because in a video you can only see the the top half of me, not even the top half. And so I have this nice like dress shirt on, gym shorts, and these brand new white sneakers. It just looks kind of peculiar. I do want to start doing multiple items in a Wish product video, unless it's a product that I use for like a week at a time or something that deserves more focus so I can get the actual review done with the right information and everything. Look out for those on my channel and um, that's gonna do it for this review. That's why I wanna add more products to each each wish video because I feel like this was really quick but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notifications we've got the holidays coming up I'm planning on changing this to a Christmas tree I hope you like the little lights I put on by the way that was brand new for this video and comment down below letting me know what you think of these shoes if you would buy them um, I personally would not buy these again but I'm excited for more wish videos coming up in the near future I've already put in orders on wish for um, like holiday stuff. I don't want to give too much away, but um, look out for that on my channel. Super excited for the holidays. Um, thinking of possibly doing a giveaway, but nothing set in stone at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next week with a brand new one. I love you so much and I will see you then. Bye.